Hey, what's going on guys? Mark here with MDP Air, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at some strobe on standard strobes here. These are very bright for the price, and if you want to get these instead of the Cree versions, you sure can. Uh, they're really good. Let's turn this white one on really quick. But today what we're gonna be talking about is some charging tips and tricks, and how to know when these things are fully charged. All right, look at that, here we go. So that is on right there. You can see that that is extremely bright. If I look at it, I get little spots in my eyes. Uh, and I'm turning these on with a one button touch here. It's just a one switch button. You're gonna turn it on, press it for three seconds and it comes on. Here's the red one. And again, same thing red. If I, if I kind of block that and so you can't see the strobe, you can see where it casts all that light around. It's a lot of light right there. So going back, let's turn that one off. There you go, you can see it flashes twice when it's off there. Uh, but what I really wanted to talk about is how do you know when these are charged up? Well, you can see I have two of these plugged in right here. One is flashing a long blink, and the other one's flashing a really faster blink and a shorter, lower intensity blink right there. Um, well, the manufacturer doesn't indicate anything on their website that I saw for how to tell if these are fully charged. They recommend charging for about two and a half hours. Well. After charging for about two and a half hours, I noticed that that one was blinking slow, and then I just plugged this one in, and it's blinking a fast, lower frequency one there. Now, that's the only thing that I can tell that these are fully charged here, so if that works for you, that is awesome. I hope that does. Uh, but in addition to that, let's talk about LiPos. If you are new to LiPos, and most people aren't, they have a sweet spot where they like to reside in their charge. If they're overcharged, you could damage them. If they're undercharged, you could damage them. Uh, these units here have their own PCM module that uh, protects the battery from overcharges and discharges. So what I recommend doing is just following that. If it is low, charge it up. You can charge it to its you know, max and then it will you know, slowly discharge after that. But try to use them within you know, a day or two of, of fully charging, but let them stay in that 50% range. And in order to see 50% range or to check this battery status, you press it and there's three flashes that will happen or two if they're not fully charged. So there's one, two, and if we charge or check this one up here, one, two, three. So each one of those flashes is about 33%. Uh, that's as far as it goes. It doesn't have four, so you'll see one flash is 30%, say, and the other one's 60%, and then a full charge when it's all three flashing like that. Uh, that's exactly what you're gonna be able to see when you have yours. And again, if we press any one of these, they'll do the same thing. There's three flashes on that one and three flashes on, two flashes on that one. So each one of these has a different charge right here and three on that one. Well, anyway, I hope this helps you out. There's some instructions for you right there if you didn't get one of these in the packaging that we sent there. And lastly, if you do want to get some of these, you can use that coupon code SUMMER from my website there. I'm an authorized seller here in the United States for selling these here. And we have plenty of them in stock. We have the standards, which they come in a lower rate than the, the Cree but I'm telling you, they're just as bright. They're a little bit, not as bright, but they're, they're very bright as you guys can see there. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Thanks for watching any other videos that you have on there. You can see these in action on some of the other videos. Check in the links in the description below to see those. And thanks for liking, subscribing, and I'll see you again soon.